In today's video, I want to talk about creating a spline path mechanical routing hose. Okay, so the last video I talked about linear paths, basically a, a, something linear with a bend, linear with a bend. These spline paths are, as the name suggests, a bit more freeform. We have a hose that's going to be clamped at both ends, that type of thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and hide that reference. What I have is a couple of fittings here. Now, what I've gone and done is I've created a couple of reference sets here. I'm going to right mouse click on this guy, go to reference set. I'm just going to call it position one. And with that name, I just use a generic name for positioning. What I have is I have a point where the hose needs to run to and I have a vector basically determining the direction that the hose needs to come off of that point. And I set those up inside of this part. Now, if you have a ton of fittings that you're dealing with and it's really mucking up the screen, like we'll, we'll go to this one. I have the same reference that I just called it position one, but maybe you don't want to see the fitting. You can also create a reference set, which I've done here as an example, call it position two, with just the point and the vector. Okay, so that is perfectly acceptable as well. And then you can turn the component on later to make sure that what you have is correct. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. So I'm going to come in and start out with my spline path. What is the diameter of my stock? Okay, I'm going to start out with, just leave it at 15. I'm going to come over here. I am going to select my point selector. I'm going to turn everything off to make sure that all I get is existing point, because that's all I want is the existing point that I have right there. Once I select my point, note here, it drops that point in. It goes to new point automatically. And now I'm going to come in and go to my next point. Okay, and it creates, in this case, a linear hose. Now, maybe I had a middle point someplace, I could have picked a middle point and it'll route that hose from point to point to point and go about that. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna specify, well, you know, this hose has gotta come out in this direction. It just does, because that's where the fitting goes. So I'm gonna go in and select on point number one, specify my vector, what is my vector direction? I'm going to pick this. Now, it didn't change. The reason why it didn't change is because I have what's called an extension. That extension is basically how much of an offset or a tension does this hose have before it begins to bend. So I'm just going to go in there and put in something, let's say, like 5. Now, as soon as I put in that 5, I'm going to hit OK so you can see what's going on. What it's done is it's basically added a tension to this. And as that hose begins to come out, there's a little linear segment, that's that five, and then it begins to bend. Now, in the real world, this is still technically incorrect because I have a length that that hose needs to go, which will be linear, and then the bend begins to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on that path. I'm going to go to point number one and I'm going to edit my forward extension. I'm going to say 10. You note that it modified that forward extension and it's still not enough. Okay, I'm getting frustrated. All right, well, how much extension do I need? Let me go ahead and hide this for now. And I'm just going to measure it. Measure a distance. Object. Okay. I want to go from, let's say, that face to this face. So that's 20. Okay, we'll say 22. Great. Let me bring back my tube. I just did an undo to bring it back. Let me double click on that. So that forward extension needs to go out roughly 22 millimeters to clear the end of that fitting. So now when I look at that, you'll note that that spline comes off the front end and then the bend begins to happen, okay? So that's what that extension value is for. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna push over the top of this, there's gonna be some sort of a clamp that 
clamps that in place and holds it. And we have the appropriate amount of flat on that hose. Now I'm going to go to this other end. Now the reference set that I have set in there, I have that solid turned off just again to show you that you can set up your references in a file say connector again you have a hundred of these connectors in the screens just turned into a big mess so you create a reference set that has just the geometry that you need for the mating condition maybe you call it a mating condition whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter to me let me double click on this again i don't have a third point i have I do want to modify my second point. What is my vector? My vector is this guy. Now, once again, my extension, I'm going to come in here and just hit one for now, hit enter. Oh, look at that. It's going in the incorrect direction. So I am going to reverse that direction, select OK, and there's my hose. Let me go back into the fitting number two. And I'm going to go into model as a, actually, you know what? Let me go back into position number one so we can see the datum axis there. And we can see we don't have the hose quite correct. I need a bit more extension on that. So let me double click on that. And again, I can go in there and measure it to get exactly what that extension length is going to be. Say 10. Let me see. It's pretty close, right? If I really want to get super i know i'm doing this over and over again but it's again as a reminder show you several times that you can double click there it is okay again there'll be some sort of a clamp that clamps that down at that end so that is a spline path now if i turn on the original hose you'll note well there's some differences okay it's pretty close over here but over here it looks like it comes out a little bit further all right, well, you know what I can do with that extension on this end is I really need this to be, let's say, 60 mils. Well, maybe that's a little bit too far. Let's say 58. And I'm going to select OK. And boof, just like that, I have that hose that I need. So again, you could use these as well to control the shape of the hose. Maybe there's a little wall that it needs to go through. You don't want to put in the extra point just because you don't want to, or it need an extra bit of flat for whatever purposes. You can really torque out that extension value to change the shape of that hose to fit the spot that you're in, okay? So that is your spline path.